All right, hello, good morning. Uh, this is Chris Sams. Um, I'm going to be helping you dual credit students uh, navigate uh, the textbook and where to find assignments. I've gotten a few questions and I'm hoping to try to make things a little bit easier to navigate for you. <clears throat> I'm logging into uh, our LIT account. Um, you go through Blackboard and that's where you'll find your course. Um, I have a couple, but they're both pretty much the same setup for right now. So I'm just going to go to one. Um, in here, I have added a free textbook for you. And then this syllabus, I will continue to update throughout the semester. So we're going to be doing all of our assignments from the textbook. Um, if you come here, there's two links. One is just telling you you can get it free from OpenStax and access it online. And then here, the second link is actually the textbook. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Um, now, from the PDF, you actually have to scroll through, okay? So it shows you some page numbers. So right now, we're going to be doing um, Chapter 2. It says page 73. So I can click that, and it takes me directly to that section. If I click this link, it goes to 2.1. So these are um, notes and just descriptions. They give you some examples of what's going on might be kind of hard to see on this video so I'll zoom in um, but you can kind of scroll through here and see some of the definitions and things now you guys did copy some notes uh, already and submit them some of you some of you guys are still working on it those notes will match with some of the content here but it's just in a different section so I'm also in the process of rolling out um, all of the notes that you get guys did for chapter one I will tell you which sections they match up, um, but I'll, I'll work on getting that out pretty soon. So anyway, you can kind of go through this uh, section. <clears throat> you can see several notes and examples and definitions. Now let me continue to scroll all the way down um, past the notes and everything. Might be helpful for me to get a page number. So on page 84, that's where the actual problems start. Um, I have recommended that you guys do the odd ones and you will do every other odd. So you'll start with number one and then you'll skip three, you'll do number five, you'll skip seven, you'll do number nine. Um, I've assigned the odd because you can check the answer in the back of the book. So I want you to do the assignment and then check your answer in the back of the book. So let me see if I can just skip to the answer index um, contents um, odd answers right here so I was here you click this little tab you got these options this second one from the top brings up um, a table of contents go to odd answers okay so it goes to chapter one skip through it so here's chapter two <clears throat> I want you to answer them come back check the answer and then make sure you got it right. Um, the homework is going to be basically completion. I want you to practice on doing it. When you have questions, um, you can email me or text me. I would rather do a live session, kind of like what I'm doing now um, with everybody on. <clears throat> this virtual office link is where we will do that. I'm hoping to do it on Fridays. So what you'll do is you'll just come in here. Um, if you have a microphone um, or whatnot, you can use it. Just type your name and then join session. Um, and then it'll be blank. Nobody's in here right now, just me. Um, but if you have a microphone, you'd have to click this to unmute your mic. And you don't have to have a camera. I don't necessarily need to see you unless you want me to. But you'll be able to see me. And then I've extended this window pane here. This is where you actually type. This is a chat bubble. Um, and you can send messages if you don't have a microphone. This icon here just kind of shows you who's in the room. But um, this is what I will use. Now, let me also, I think I closed the textbook. Um, I'm gonna close this up. Let me also show you how to get to the textbook from OpenStax online. So you can go to OpenStax. Um, I don't believe you have to create an account like I have. It's already signed in for me. But you go to subjects, math, and then you see everything is 100% free. Okay, so this is the college algebra book that we're using. 
I think it's the only one that just says college algebra. Um, there's one that says college algebra with um, co-rec, and then there's like some elementary algebra, intermediate, but this is the one we're using. So if you click this book, <clears throat> again, you can just view table of contents and it might be easier to get to those sections. Section 2.1, um, it'll just open it up. And this is the same notes, it's just in color. Probably a little bit better if you wanna access it online. But I've also put it in Blackboard for you. And you just scroll down past all the notes and everything. And then the odds are listed um, in color. So I think if you click it, it actually shows you the answers. Yeah. So I just click the um, the number and it actually shows you the answers um, once you do that. Um, so um, that's how you access the textbook. These are the assignments we're going to be doing. Now, when it comes to quizzes and tests, I will post those personally. They may be handwritten. They may be created via um, uh, Word or some other platform. But I will post those for you um, when they're assigned. So let me go back to my math lab. Let me go to start here. Um, the syllabus that I have right now is pretty bare. It just has the first two weeks. Okay. So you're starting 2-1 today. So you can start going through those and trying to answer those questions. And then you'll also be doing 2-2 two, two this week. Every other odd, 1 through 59, that's about 15 problems. So each section I have you doing 15. At the most problems, you may do less. Okay, but that's a good um, ballpark. So I want you guys to finish these. This is on Sunday. Try to submit them to me by Sunday, by midnight. And then on Monday, um, I'm going to roll out a quiz uh, over 2122. So hopefully you guys work on these. It's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We'll get together Friday and, and talk about uh, some of this online. Um, if you saw the announcement, I'll, I'll try to post an announcement. I think they go to your email. Um, this was the latest one. I said sorry for the delay. Um, after exploring some options, I decided to go with the free material. I've posted the syllabus. I will continue to update it. Um, we're going to be doing book work. It's free. Um, I will post a quiz on Monday. Um, if possible, I want to do a question and answer session. Um, I hope to do this Friday in the morning, 8 to 10 or 12 to 2.30. Just let me know what works best for you. You can email me or text me, um, but update me and let me know um, what what time will work for you and then um, we'll go from there so anyway I hope this helps if it doesn't let me know if you have questions let me know and I'll get with you as soon as I can